Grant Robertson's delivered his annual pre-budget speech in Wellington, reiterating climate and health will be the big winners next week. But we're still waiting to find out if there'll be anything to ease our cost of living crisis. Meanwhile, one government agency's been pouring money into consultants with little to show for it. Here's political reporter Imogen Wells. The finance minister wasn't tucking into his pre-budget breakfast. Perhaps a few pre-speech nerves ahead of his yearly pitch to Wellington's biggest in business. As far as I'm aware, Max Key's not here, but um, uh, does anyone want to take his place and ask the minister some tough questions? Today, reconfirming, Budget 2022's about health and the climate, leaving plenty unanswered on the cost of living crisis. If we decided against reforming our health system, we would not see lower petrol prices. But Kiwi wallets also need an investment. Annual food prices today revealing groceries officially cost us 6.4% more than this time last year. The first priority must be giving relief to the squeezed middle. I believe we, we do have a very carefully balanced spending programme. But the National Party begs to differ, questioning Waka Kotahi's spending on the New Zealand upgrade programme, the government's 10-year plan to give the country's infrastructure a facelift. Since 2019, the transport agencies spent $145 million on consultants, covering things like the environment and planning, versus just $200 million on actual construction. This government's addicted to spending. What New Zealanders want is better infrastructure and better roads, not millions and millions getting put to consultants for projects which should have actually already been delivered. Money has to be spent on the detailed design, planning and consenting. There's frankly a cheap political shot here which either demonstrates total naivety about how transport uh, projects work. But the Waka Kotahi spend-up doesn't end there. Since 2017, it's more than doubled its PR team, from 32 staff to 88, 65 of whom are earning $100,000 or more. I've sent Waka Kotahi a reminder recently that they need to be careful and considered with the uh, uh, expenditure. A stern warning to the ministry from the minister, watch your spending. Imogen Wells, News Hub.